Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the definitions. In VB script, there is what is known as a procedure. And a procedure is a collection of VBScript statements that when called are executed as a unit. And what a unit means here is that it's a small block of code. So it's just statements that are executed as a unit. And there are two types of procedures in VBScript. There is a sub, which is a VBScript procedure that executes a set of statements without returning a result. And a function is a VBScript procedure that executes a set of statements and optionally does return a result to the statement that called it. That is the difference between a function and a sub. Remember it, very important interview question. So let me show you guys the structure of a sub. A sub looks like this. I'm using these parentheses here to convey a modification that you need to make. And you would just replace this with whatever's in the parentheses and that would create your function or sub. So for example, the first thing you need to do is use a public or private keyword. So like this. See that? How in UFT it turned blue? This means it's that. It's a reserved word in VBScript. Next thing you have to do is write sub. It's another reserved word in VBScript. See that? Next, this means you need to give it a name. This name, oh, by the way, guys, did you see how I pushed space and UFT automatically comp completed the sub for me? So now I just need to give it a name. So the naming conventions that we're going to follow is by using fn to name our functions, and then we are going to give it some name. So for example, function, example. And how we name our functions or subs is just like in all other programming languages. We need to say what the function or sub is going to do. So yes, it's okay to write out a function name like this because it will tell you what this function does. And trust me, it's very important. I've seen people that name their functions like this. What the heck does this function do? It makes no sense. And if you have function A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, Z, whatever, it is crazy because you need to know what the function does. So just don't reinvent the wheel. Do as all the programmers do and name your function based on what it does and its purpose. And we are using camel casing here, okay? So we gave it a name and the next thing we have to do is an argument list and that is optional. So you put parentheses like this and in here you put your statements such as, and then there is the N sub and that's how a sub looks. Let's go ahead and execute it.